Hey Seekers, it's your favorite queer couple here. We are on a mission to discover every region of Italy and its own gems. Today we are in Sicily and we have a lot of places to see. So be prepared to discover the beauty and the bad of this region. Hey Seekers! Good morning! Good morning! Yesterday we stayed in this kind of parking spot for campers also and which should have had some kind of nice services it was not that great we paid 10 euros and we had a cold shower this morning we emptied the porta pot and refilled the water tank but the the cold shower was too cold <laughs> and now we are on the road again We are just arrived at the Saline of Marsala, which is an amazing place with the pink salt. So let's go! Matt! Hey! What are you doing? Passing a story! Wow! These Saline are awesome. We are looking at them with a cloudy day and they are still beautiful you can like get a little bit of the pink from the, the, salt. the yeah from the salt, salt. And, <laughs> and it's really really pretty we are gonna try even if the weather is not that great to like give you a hint of how stunning they are they are They look so, so stunning. Yeah, even with this bad weather. So, so <laughs> it's definitely worth a visit. And if you don't want to visit inside the Saline, because you, you must pay for visit the Saline inside, you can enjoy the view from the street, just like us. Yeah, and we'll put in the description box where we parked so you can know where to park to have the same view and definitely we recommend coming at the sunset unfortunately we couldn't make it because otherwise we are gonna lose another day but if you can make it come to the saline with the sunset yeah definitely have uh, made a, a poor choice because it's full of cars looking for a parking spot and we are big <laughs> yeah we are big and so it's not that easy to to find a spot where to park you are the ones we need to call when we need a parking spot Super perfect perfect let's have a tour a quick tour of uh, Masera del Vallo Seekers, look how beautiful is this walk by the sea. We are just arrived in Piazza della Repubblica, in the city center of Masara del Vallo, and it's so stunning. The atmosphere here is so, so bright. We are super lucky because the sun is shining. And behind Hanji, there's the cathedral. Let's see it. There was probably uh, a baptism. Yeah, a baptism. And it was so crowded, we didn't enter properly, but we just filmed it. And it looks like super nice. Super nice. Yeah. There are many frescoes, and 
really really pretty also from the entrance <laughs> We are now entering the Casva, which is the most historical neighborhood of uh, Mazara del Vallo, which has uh, an Islamic taste to the architecture and like the buildings, everything. It's very, very peculiar and uh, at the same time, very, very nice. Yeah, and there are many murales on the walls of the buildings, also because a community from Tunisia uh, decided to decor it. I wouldn't say that I would feel a hundred percent safe. Yeah, wandering around, maybe more at night, I wouldn't. But maybe it's just uh, our mind. Our mind. Yeah, because there are some guys that are not like great looking, but. Maybe it's just our imagination. And the neighborhood overall, it's really, really pretty. Maybe it's just because we are alone and there is nobody else around, just for a few not so good looking guys but I'm gonna repeat myself, but maybe we are wrong. Yeah, because uh, it's very, very nice uh, looking, so yeah. I don't know. We are back on the bun, and now we are heading to a place that I've been dreaming of visiting for years. <laughs> yeah, my entire life. It's super, super awesome. Let's go! You, you, you. no idea why it is so full of uh, trash everywhere some of them even burnt I mean I thought like Naples was gonna be so dirty but why Sicily I, I, I don't understand it's full everywhere even here it's full of dirt everywhere I, I don't get it why people do they have to throw their trash outside in the, the streets like big big trash i don't get it we are about to go to parco archeologico di selinunte i get it Okay, so we just discovered this <laughs> kind of information, so bear with us. We bought uh, two tickets for three euros each because we are under uh, 25 years right. old. Yeah, and they accepted Amex. Plus! Yes. <laughs> and we could have decided to buy the ticket with the bus shuttle, but seekers you know, you know us, us. <laughs> we prefer to walk <laughs> even because it was super more expensive there are more than 10 temples in this amazing archaeological park 
but not all of them have been assigned to a divinity and uh, they do not have a name. So they have been named as uh, Temple A, Temple B, etc. And even consider this, they're still amazing and a piece of art like living on earth. It's crazy. We were wondering, when you have a dog, because we're thinking of adopting one, <laughs> and you want to visit something and like, I don't know, maybe this park, they allow dogs to enter, but in a place where dogs are not allowed, where do you leave them? Like just for a few hours, how do you do? Because uh, in summer, uh, leave the dog in the van is impossible it's impossible yeah. it's crazy and even in winter maybe yeah maybe even in winter so if you have a dog and you uh, live in a van <laughs> you live in a van or you travel a lot where do you leave your dog when uh, you can bring in uh, in any park or, mu or museum or also if you have to go to the hospital was the other question yeah where do you leave the dog if you are alone, if you are a solo traveler, if you are in a couple, it's already different, but... but we don't know. Tell us in the comments, please. <laughs> Where are we? Here. How do you know? Because there are a sign for Temple B, Temple A. So this is a P for parking. There, there is a parking spot. How genius are you? Yeah, I know. Seekers. She's so intelligent. Oh my God! Can I touch you? I just read a sign and now I know a little bit of history of this amazing park and because as you know we don't come prepared <laughs> so this entire park was a Greek city town let's say and it was then conquered by the Carthaginesi and after that many years later by the Roman troops but what the Cartaginesi did is that they rebuilt completely the, the city using their own structures like the houses were smaller and in a narrow alleys in order to have more shade during the day and they also reassigned the temples so that they were dedicated to their own gods and it's nice also to know a little history about it now let's go explore that's what we like the most They could cut some grass, eh? I mean, <laughs> we are like walking in the forest. The sky today. <laughs> Mm. 
Nice bridge. And here it is. Nothing. Babe. Can we go back? Are you satisfied? We have probably found our way, but it was not that easy. There are not that many signs to like lead the way to the right path, which makes no sense, I mean. I don't understand how you can keep such an amazing park like like this. Why? I don't Italy Italy Sicily Sicily Why? This is the situation guys. Yeah, but you were probably right, there was a float or something. Yeah. No way. Before we were wondering why the, the sea was so dirty. And here you have the answer. It's not possible. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? This is, this is foam. Seekers, this is foam next to the Stelinunte Park and there are still more temples to see and people have to see this and this is going right directly to the sea. That's why it was so, so brown. I have no words. I'm shocked. What do you think, Angie? It... I'm shocked. No words. Che schifo. Fate schifo. We are going back to the van. Today was such a good day because we saw many beautiful things, but at the same time, such an upsetting day. Yeah, because we see, and you have just seen how many trash there is in this region. Yeah, I'm shocked. I would never have thought that Sicily could be so, so dirty and with trash all over the place. It's so upsetting. I'm really, really upset by this, this situation, yeah. yeah. Anyway, it is with this bad note that we are gonna finish this vlog. Yeah, and see you in another vlog. Let's hope it's a better, like, environmental condition. Mm -hmm. Bye, Seekers! Bye!